As many of you probably know, there's an, there's an election upcoming. You've probably not heard, right? You've not heard the radio ads or the TV commercials. I mean, my goodness, the governor election in our state is one of two. There's only two going on this year. And so that's why, if you've noticed an increase in ads, there's revenue coming in from everywhere, right? You've got the blue and the red really fighting it out. And the media focuses on that. Money streams in from all around. And I think most of us can, can agree that politics has become all-consuming in our society. It, I, I would say it's probably the most divisionary thing in our society right now, right? The blue wants to hate the red, the red wants to hate the blue, and some of us are stuck in the middle not knowing what to do, right? I'm not saying that politics this morning, we're not going to preach on politics, we're just framing our thought about worship and what we focus on. I'm not saying that politics is unimportant, but a lot of us have allowed it to become all important, or another word is consuming. You see, as believers, we ought to be involved in the political process and, and vote for the candidate or party or platform will that we believe will uphold the word of God truth but political activism is not ultimate this morning worship is because politics and politicians aren't ultimate God is